Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. Well, this is something new. So late last year, we asked you to submit questions about DCS. And well, you guys really delivered. You submitted thousands of questions across many different topics. And what I'll be doing over the next several months is addressing these topic by topic. Now, as you might imagine, a lot of these were duplicated. So I'll combine a lot of the questions into single answers. And it's our hope by the end of these videos, you'll have a better understanding of what we're working on, our priorities, and why we do what we do. So probably one of the most common questions we had was about performance. So let's take a look at that now. Okay, so first, uh, Dutch Chile asks, uh, realistic missions require sheer numbers of planes and ground units. Uh, what can we expect this year in terms of performance improvements to facilitate such missions, both in single player and multiplayer? So as you might imagine, a lot of this actually started last year, particularly with multi-threading. And by and large, I think most users uh, saw a pretty substantial benefit to that. Not everybody. And that's why we hope that people are still having issues, can submit uh, more information to us through our form so we can still diagnose these. Uh, another big one, of course, was DLSS and also FSR1. Now, this year, we're continuing to work on multi-threading. We've already had two updates this year on multi-threading and also with the train engine that we've had some pretty substantial improvements on. In addition to that, we're continuing to work on DLSS and eventually, of course, we want to have a frame generation and also later versions of FSR. Of course, we're also working on Vulkan. But initially, Vulcan is going to be more focusing on multi-platform, uh, whereas a little bit later, definitely not this year, we'll be more looking at Vulcan as a means for performance improvements. So that's where we are right now with a uh, performance increase uh, regarding many different units. And of course, that applies to single player, multiplayer, uh, 2D and VR. So Mason0920 asks, uh, the multi-threading update was a huge improvement for overall performance. Mm -hmm. Does Eagle Dynamics have any future plans to improve the game's engine performance going forward? Yeah, absolutely. Just like I mentioned, uh, multi-threading, it's not just a, a magic uh, bullet that's fired once and that's it. It's a continuing uh, task of work that we're continuing to improve over time. We'll talk a little bit more about this uh, later in this uh, Q&A. But, you know, again, multi-threading is not just a single path to improve performance. Uh, there's DLSS, there's FSR, and also uh, core engine optimizations like we did recently with the engine. So all of these as an aggregate, uh, we see as a pretty substantial uh, performance increase moving forward. So next from K6D we have, uh, are there any plans to incorporate NVIDIA or AMD frame generation technology? I have used Microsoft Flight Simulator and it has greatly enhanced my experience, especially because I play at 4K, 120 Hertz. Uh, without it, the unsteady frame rates tend to bother me a lot. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, maybe not in the, what I call near future, but it's certainly on the plans that we will be doing it uh, for enhanced DLSS support. So next from Phoenix 1-1 Viper Force, uh, we have, will FSR3 and other uh, general performance improvements be added to the core engine in the near future? So with FSR, we have FSR1 right now. Uh, for FSR2 and 3 would require uh, DX12 uh, or Vulcan. We have no plans for DX12 at this point, but of course we are planning uh, Vulcan support. So once we have the Vulcan support in there, we should be able to implement uh, FSR3 at that point. Next, from Freelancer Yoghammer, what is planned for future multi-threading implementation improvements, e.g. split DCS graphics or simulation pipeline into more threads? So it's important to remember that we have two layers in DCS, the graphics layer and the logic layer. Uh, the big focus so far has been on the graphics layer, and that's what you really saw last year and we're still continuing to improve now. Uh, the next big step is going to be the logic layer, and we probably won't see that this year, but hopefully soon after that. Now, I think it was the very first question asked was about um, having many, many different units uh, in the map without 
frame performance impact. And that's where the logic layer uh, is really going to come into its own. But again, it's probably not going to be this year, but hopefully soon after. Next, from Jet4LT, we have, uh, how is RenderGraph Engine progressing? Uh, can we expect to see hardware agnostic upscaling tech uh, such as FSR3 in the near future? So really not a whole lot to say on RenderGraph uh, at this point, just that it's progressing forward nicely. And like I mentioned earlier with uh, FSR3, uh, once we have Vulkan implemented, we'll be able to do FSR2 and also, again, hopefully FSR3 as well. From Snowblind, we have, how are the core tech enhancements coming? Is the multi-core as good as it's going to get, or should we expect more performance improvements to come soon within a year? So as you've already seen uh, since the start of this year, we've already had two updates with, I think, pretty significant improvements. And those will continue. You know, again, like I said before, um, multi-threading just wasn't a single magic bullet. It's going to be you continually worked on, improved over time. And then, of course, you know, again, we have more enhancements for DLSSS, uh, FSR, uh, Vulcan further down the road. Uh, terrain engine enhancements. So again, it's not just one single aspect to improve performance, but it's a combination of many things coming together to give better 2D and VR support. Next, from Suti 1979, we have, can you make more uh, effort to finish multi-threading? It's unusable for me and most of my friends. My setup i9-12900, 3060 Ti, unusable, lags, freeze, slow, no improvement on FPS at all. Uh, well, Sudi, I'm really sorry um, that it hasn't been a benefit to you. Um, fortunately, it has been to uh, uh, probably most of our customers, but with the vast variations in hardware and setup, as you might imagine, there's going to be exceptions. Um, all I can ask that you keep with it that you use our reporting system or forum to provide as much information as possible so we can help diagnose uh, the issues you may have so you can see that improvement. Also, I hope since you originally sent this question that the updates we've released since have uh, allowed you to benefit uh, from the increased uh, multi-threading in DLSS features. From Boish Tech, I'm not gonna butcher your last name, Will DCS ever support AI upscaling? Uh, in fact, we actually delivered that in 2.9 and we hope you're enjoying it. From Raven, uh, Lysian Angel, we have burning question. Since DLSS was announced, uh, what happened to ED stands on not incorporating proprietary technology? Uh, why not focus on FSR 2 or 3 instead, uh, even though it's widely considered to be inferior to DLSS at this time? Yeah, it's open source after all. Uh, so, you know, obviously, this question is a little dated now. Uh, we're going to do all three. So, obviously, we have uh, DLSS right now. We have FSR 1. And as I explained earlier, that once we have Vulkan, we'll be able to do FSR 2 and also hopefully FSR 3 at that point. Zeke Q asks, uh, will you implement newer versions of DLSS? So even right now we support 3.5.1, but you know, just like uh, multi-threading and other elements, we'll continue improvement over time. And eventually, of course, as I mentioned earlier, we will also add in frame generation for DLSS. Next from Uquinas, uh, when does DLAA and DLSS will be implemented? Done. Next, from Prickly HH72. Hey, Prickly. We have, can we expect further rollouts of the multi-threading systems for DS Core, or is it complete? So, as probably a theme for this uh, video, it is definitely not complete. Uh, we did the graphics layer last year. We're continuing to improve it, uh, even this year, and we'll continue to improve it. Uh, in parallel, we're already working on the logic layer, which again, we probably won't be able to roll it out this year, but hopefully soon after. And last, from F Wood 2, we have, are you going to make DCS have better performance? Oh, absolutely. So I think probably one of the big takeaways from this video is that performance is not just a single effort. 
is divided between multi-threading, graphics layer, logic layer, DLSS, FSR, uh, Vulkan, uh, engine performance, and probably have other different optimizations. It's just not a single effort. And all of those continue in parallel at the same time. So will performance improve? Undoubtedly. So folks, that's the conclusion of this first video on performance. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Thanks.